Right, well I'm in Tony's because Tony has got a bit of news. Oh, Tony, you do. Chris, you're so right. What's this bit of news then? Well, you've got, I've got you've the, me up saying you've something got some big going news. down. I've got the new Dreamcast. It's yeah. only a prototype. Right. Um, it's uh, beautiful. Look, that's the finish on it. It's lovely. Um, it's not going to be cheap. It's called a Dreamcast Mac 4. Um, some of the bits on here, like they're not. That's not a real Fuji because when they do prototypes and the rings aren't right. But basically when they make prototypes they don't waste cost you know expense on fittings and stuff right, so okay. but we got this to test out it's got i've designed it with two tips you've got one for the winter and one for the summer one's a hybrid tip the other one's a solid tip right um it's got a reflective tape on top which is nice all the whippings are lovely colored and it's got this lovely carbon wrap on it, which is beautiful. But I've had a few words with a few people in the shop and we think it's just a little bit too much, you know? So what we're gonna do, when, when you put it all together, it's a little bit for around 400 quid, which we think it might be. We're not sure yet. Right. Um, it's gonna be like a bit loud, you know? Right. So what we've done is, um, again, not, not 100% yet, but I'm thinking of toning it down by making this piece here in black right okay yeah. so that will tone it down there and then this piece in here we may leave it or we may actually put something like like this kind of wrap in the in there like oh, a right. carbon wrap yeah, in yeah. there just yeah. to tone it down a bit right um but it will be nice and uh, we've also got one coming out that will probably have a string tube on there anyway yeah. and it's going to be a we're hoping to get one with a sliding fitting and one with a fixed fitting. Oh, uh, okay. You know, because some people like to reel down the yeah, bottom. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. 15 foot four. Right. Um, I think it's going to cast like a dream. I really do. I think it'd be brilliant. I'm going to go and test it tonight. Okay. And then I'm going to let you test it, see oh, what you think. Okay, yeah, because I mean, that's but, it. Uh, it's got, oh, it's also going to come um, in a case similar to this. Obviously not that size. No, no, longer case. Yeah. Uh, but it'd be a nice case with Dreamcast on. Yeah, okay. It's gonna be. We're not gonna spare any sort of uh, cost on it. We're gonna get it right. You yeah. Know? The last Dreamcast I did was very successful. Yeah. It was around 140 pounds, 150 pounds. It it was a lovely rod. It served its purpose. But this is the match machine. And, you know and I mean? the, the the Dreamcast three was kind of an intermediate rod, wasn't it? It was kind of. It was. The next it was made for the average person who yeah. walks through my door. Yeah. This one, I'm afraid. Although it will cast for the average person, mm -hmm. it's a little bit more upmarket, a bit more special, you know? Right. It's, it's kind of rod I'm going to use, whereas yeah. with my dream cast, it's a lovely rod, but it was just a little bit too soft for me even, you yeah. know? Right. So this okay. is made, it's much more powerful, beautiful bit of kit, you know, and uh, very stiff, you know, when you put it together, you can see just for the first two sections, just how solid that is, yeah, you know? Yeah, no, you, you can see that. Really powerful. You just put it on the ground and get yeah. it. Yeah, plenty of power there. It is, isn't it? Yeah, it's lovely. What is that? It's very stiff. And uh, generally, with this heavier tip, it should go 30 yards further. Yeah. So that's the okay, idea. Well. And then in the summer, you put the match tip on. You know, if you're fishing a match, it's a bit finicky, you can change the tip. Right. It takes you two or three minutes. But it's it's nice. It's not sloppy. No, no. Um, it, it's, it's made with a lower grade carbon, this one. And the one that comes through will be a higher grade carbon. Right. So it could be possibly in a little bit stiffer, you know? Right. Yeah, but uh, pretty excited. Gonna go and take it for a chuck tonight. Okay, well, I, to be honest with you, I, I can't wait to go and have a chuck till yeah, tomorrow, well, you mate. Can I, go down there. I'll bring it back yeah. later. Can't you have a go down this afternoon and give it a go. Yeah, well made up of it. I mean, I've got a reel and everything in the car, so. The Dreamcast Mac Four. The Dreamcast and Mac Four. We reckon in the new year. Yeah. Because I, I don't wanna, I wanna get it balanced. I wanna get it perfect, and when I do so, I like to do it right. Yeah. And if it's not right. You know, I'm going to get feedback from this, see yeah. what people think, and if it's not right, then we'll just start again. You know, so if, we, if, be, we we won't take any deposits quite yet. Okay. But in about a month's time, when we know everything's underway, we mm. know the date when it's coming, and then we'll take a few fifty quid deposits or something. You know. Okay, so if if somebody wants one, that's what they've got to do in about a month's time. Give you a call. Yeah, give me a ring in about a month, and it, they're, they're willing to give me a deposit now if they want. But it'd be yeah. horrible because if it didn't happen and something yeah. went wrong. Yeah. We, we're probably going to wait until it's yeah. just they start producing them. You know what I mean? Right. And the, very the, nice. the the composite tip is the lightweight tip, yeah. Yeah. 
I stuck to that. This was I had the same weave as my Dreamcast Three, so I stuck to that weave. I think it's yeah. beautiful. Yeah. It's only that there's too much of it on there, I think. So I just got to tone it down a little bit. Right. If it was hundred quid rod, it'd be fine. But because it's more expensive, no, I just want it a bit yeah. more professional. You know what I mean? Yeah. And maybe even this yet. We're not sure. This is our colours, you see. Yeah. But we might not even have that colour. All right. We, we, we're playing at the moment, seeing yeah. what's what. You know. Well, I'm inter I'll be interested to see how it costs. To be quite honest. So. Um, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, fantastic. Uh, I'm hoping it's going to be massive for us because. Uh, Especially I can have two, mm. I can have the um, sliding fitting as well. Mm. So, has anybody else had a cast of this yet? Well, Joe Plum had a go of it on uh, Saturday. Oh, right. Yeah, on Saturday, and uh, him meant Harvey yeah. both took it down Saturday morning, oh, and right. uh, oh, it was a so it's video, really yeah. nice, you yeah. know. Uh, the only thing I've got to check out with it is the balance of it. I want it to be properly balanced, but right. Joe said it's really nice. It's not his kind of rod, no, really, because yeah, you know he's a very powerful caster, right. but he said he put a six ounce on it. And it went really, really well, a long way. So that's good news, isn't it? Oh, so, it'd be great to actually have a chat with Joe about that. Yeah, he, he, he did. Actually, bloody hell, he, here he is, the man himself. <laughs> right, well, I was just about to leave the shop, and who should walk in here but the Mr. Joe Plumstead. You've had a chuck of that new rod? Yeah, I had a go, yeah, it's pretty what? good, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, it's all right. It's nice, oh. not too bad, you six ounces on it. Six? Six, yeah. yeah. yeah all right. Right. Harvey had a go as well. But yeah, yeah. Well, were you pendulum casting? No, no, just off the ground. Just, just off the ground, ground. all right. Nothing. It's got nice okay. two tips with it as well. So yeah, you tried, there, you tried the two tips. And yeah. the right tip. You can have a go of it? I'm going to have got it here, so then have a play with it now. Well worth a go. Right, so it's my turn now. I'm going to get it down the beach and give it a quick go. So quick, let's get down the beach. Here I am on the beach with the uh, prototype Dreamcast 4, or Mac 4, the Dreamcast Mac 4. Lovely feeling rod, and I must admit with the weight on the end of it, you can feel the power in this rod. Um, so I'm looking forward to having a few casts with this. I'm going to start off gentle and I'm casting a five ounce lead initially with the lightweight summer tip on it, see how that goes. And then we might go up to heavier weights and, and the tip, stiffer tip as well and see how that goes. But I've also got some mackerel feathers on here. Now the reason I put mackerel feathers on here is one, so there's a little bit of resistance to the cast and two, don't look such a muppet down the beach casting without, as I'm not, as I'm not fishing. And three, mm. there's a faint chance I might be the first person to catch a fish with this rod. So let's give it a go and let's give it have a try. We'll do a couple of lazy lobs first of all, and then we'll gradually build it up. Oh, something smelt really bad when I put my stuff in the car, and I think it might be this finger fob. Yeah, that went out well. That went out well indeed. Um, it's quite a strong headwind. The wind is blowing from this direction straight in my face. So that's obviously going to slow things down a bit. There's an awful lot of weed out in front of me. So I'm going to, I'm going to be picking up some weed, I feel. So we might see how a rod resists, deals with a bit of resistance. But first, first reaction to that is, yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. I mean, that's using a five ounce lead, and I, I think it probably needs a six, or certainly five with a, with a bulky bait. It will handle very well. That's what Joe Plumstead said when he, when he um, tried it this morning. He said it, it would go well with a six ounce lead. Let's give it another go at one of those. Let's see if I can put a bend in it. We'll, we'll study the video after and see how much of a bend it would be. Yeah, that went out well. That went out well, actually. I like it a lot. I like this rod a lot. Whoa, it flew. There's line I'm seeing on my spool I haven't seen for a while. I do think that the stiffer tip would favour that type of cast better. Let's try a couple of lazy lobs with a, with a six ounce lead. 
and then we'll switch over to the stiffer tip and try that with a heavy lead and then off the ground. I'm not saying it won't handle this off, uh, off the ground, but I think it takes a little bit of getting used to. And, and to be honest, I don't know that you need to do off the ground. I, I, just a lazy overhead lob, it's sailing out. So that's what we've got in the moment. We've got a yellow cap on at the moment, five ounce, five and a quarter. Let's try the six. Right, so we'll swap it over to a red top, uh, six ounce lead, uh, and see how that goes. Again, we'll try a lazy, just a lazy lob initially, see how it goes with a lazy lob. Yeah, it goes out well. It goes out well with a six. I feel it compressing the rod a little bit more. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I don't profess to be the greatest distance caster, and I'm sure that in the hands of someone like Tony, who, who has perfected the continental cast overhead thump and gets immense distances with it, um, he would be putting another oh, 20 or 30 yards on what I'm doing. But still, it's pretty good. We'll have one more of that, and then we'll swap tips. Maybe we'll try off the ground cast with it. Let's try an off the ground with a six ounce. Whoa! Whoa! I take it all back. With a six ounce lead, this handles a six ounce lead beautifully on a, with an, with an off-ground car. Just seem to stay in the air forever. See if we can get some mackerel. Right, so I've put the stiffer tip in now. So um, you can see that there isn't so much, let's just have, give us a little bend. So that's a lot, a lot stiffer tip. All right, so that should incre increase the range if my casting's up to it. Uh, we'll give it a go with the five ounce lid initially, so we'll be doing the same as we did with the, with this, the, the light tip. And we'll we should be able to compare the two videos, hopefully I'll be able to put the two videos together. So this is the heavier tip, five ounce lead. Let's give it a whack. Just overhead thump initially. We'll see if we notice a vast amount of difference. So, overhead thump. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, you do notice a difference. You definitely notice a difference. Again, I didn't see it land, but it felt like it went a long way. So on a windy night, you know, when the rod tips are bouncing anyway, this is the rod tip for me. Um, on a lighter wind night or lighter wind day, when there's not much uh, wind, there's not much waves, that lighter tip is going to give you a far better bite indication. Um, but again, not the range. But then, of course, on a, on a windy night, you want to be able to wallop it into the wind. Um, on a calm night, you don't, you, you'll get the range that you need. Let's try off the ground cast next. And then we'll switch over to the heavier lead. <laughs> that did fly. So we put a red top on. Let's give that a go. Uh, just a lazy lob initially. Oh, it handles that six ounce lead very well. Again, as I say, in the hands of someone like Tony or Gerald, you probably get another 20 or 30 yards on that. I mean, I am casting into the wind. I am not kept, I'm not casting just a bare lead. There are some feathers on there which are going to slow it down a bit. All right, let's try off the ground now. Last cast, let's see if we can't break this rod.
I want to have another go, one more last cast. <laughs> I went a long way, but I don't think I lofted it enough. Need to get it higher. That's better. Oh, go on, we'll have one more cast. Still don't feel I'm pushing this rod to its, its limits yet. Yeah, the more I get used to it, the more I, I have the courage to give it some. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to say that's it. I would be happily, I would happily carry on casting this rod. And I'm sure that until I get tired, my distance would improve each time. Because each time I cast a little bit further with it. Yeah, great rod, a very nice rod. Definitely a big step up from the Dreamcast 3. The Dreamcast Mac 4. Yeah, I like it a lot. It's a very nice rod. It's a very nice rod. I think of all the rods that I've tested out for Tony, this is probably the best. Um, it's not out till later in the year, as Tony said. If you're interested in getting one and be one of the first people to have one, then you need to get, get onto Tony, give him a deposit for it. Uh, he did mention it earlier in the video. Um, yeah, it'd be interesting to actually see the video and see where... Where, it, where the action is in the rod when, you, when you're giving it some, um, some welly on the cast. Uh, and I'm no great distance caster, so it'll be interesting to see what someone like Tony can do with this. Um, I particularly like this shaped um, grip because it means that you've got hold of something, it's not gonna twist in your hand, it just gives you a little bit more confidence that, that as you're casting, it's not gonna twist in your hand. I, I, I do like that. Um, yeah, the livery, I'm not going to comment on the livery. That's Tony's ball game. Um, he's going to do some tweaks on the livery, I know, is what he said. Um, if I was going to say anything, I was going to say, I would say that perhaps you need a slightly bigger tip ring. The tip ring on this rod, you can't fit a, a rig clip through. So it means you've got to undo your rig clips every time, which is a little bit of a pain if you're, you know, if you're, well, when you're packing up for the night. I like to put the rig clips on, feed them through the eyes so I'm not damaging the eyes, and then use it to clip the line around the reel. Can't do that with this rod because you're going to have to undo it. Um, yeah, it handles five, it handles six really well. Don't know what it would do with a, with a heavier weight and what it would be like with some heavy baits. Um, certainly this stiff, stiff tip makes quite a difference, actually. Um, I'm, I'm surprised. I thought it was going to be a bit like a broom handle, but actually it's not. It's really nice, really nice. So... Well, we'll study the video, see how the casting went on the video, see where the bends were in the, in, in, on the cast and what have you. Critique my casting technique. I am no great caster. Um, but, yeah. Get in touch with Tony if you want one. Catch you later.